What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Eclectic Beard, and it's been such a long time, but we got Series 2, Episode 1, Rising Damp. I love this show. So glad that this box set was sent to me. We went through the first series so far. Absolutely loved it. I, I just... Such awesome writing for this man, and the actors, it, it just, it just way everything just plays so well together. So, let's go ahead and get into, let's get into the first episode next series. All right, it's been too long, anyways. What time did you say we're meeting him? About nine. <laughs> it's nice of you asking me, Philip. I really do appreciate it. That's all right. What's mine like? She's a very sweet, sensitive girl. <laughs> you mean she's ugly? She's not ugly. <laughs> 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 Why am I getting her then? Because she's a friend of this girl I'm seeing. They wanted a force and they said if I knew someone um, reasonably presentable with a pleasing personality, to bring him along. And you thought of me? No, he couldn't come. <laughs> <laughs> what about Ruth? Ruth? Yeah, did she know you're seeing this girl? That doesn't matter anymore. You see, I've told her. What about the ten wives? Yes. How'd she take it? Well, she wasn't very pleased. You know how she hates crowds. <laughs> she was quite upset about it. Good looks can be a curse sometimes. <laughs> I thought we'd be able to drink that. Back to their place. They've got a self-contained flat. Excuse me. No. Yeah. Hey, is there plenty of hot water, Rigsby? Why? What do you want to know for? I want to have a bath. Uh, now, look, I'm just having you in there all night preening yourself. Once you get in front of that full-length mirror, you lose all track of time. <laughs> It's no good having a good body if you don't appreciate it. <coughs> yes, I wouldn't mind if it stopped there. Last time you were in there, you were trying to see how high you could get your foot marks up the wall. <laughs> Left that place swimming in water. Hey, I think I'll use my soap bunny. <laughs> Are you sure? No, oh, you've had him such a long time. <laughs> you have to get wet sometimes. Hey, what's this? The masculine spray to brighten up any man's bath time. The masculine spray? I know you. You'll come out of that bathroom looking like Veronica Lake. <laughs> Who's Veronica Lake? Who's Veronica? Don't you know anything? She's a very famous film star. Long flowing hair. You're a lot like her, except she wore less jewellery. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Rick. The times have changed. You don't have to go about smelling of old socks anymore. You just make sure there's plenty of hot water. <laughs> I can't afford that. I've got a date tonight. Oh, I thought so. I wonder why we're having this sudden interest in personal hygiene. <laughs> What's she like? A little dig, I haven't met her yet. Philip's arranged it. You mean she hasn't seen you? No. Oh. Well, she's in for a shop, then. Philip <laughs> <laughs> asked me because I happen to be the sophisticated type they were looking for. Sophistic. <laughs> what are you going to wear? Your Donald Duck shirt or those jeans will come and get me on the crutch. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Duck shirt to come and get me jeans on. Oh my god, dude. Uh, banter it, between all of them is one of the best things about this show, in my opinion. Like, the, you it, so masterfully done. I love the fact they're they're planning to go out for a date. And of course, Rigsby in his fashion comes in and just <laughs> talk shit the whole goddamn time. <laughs> like, Oh, hell. What you like, it doesn't matter. These girls have got a self-contained flat. I can see it now. Three vodkas, a few packets of cheese and onion crisps, and Geronimo. <laughs> oh, this is it. You never talked like this before you came, you know. My God, you've changed. Even your voice has got deeper. <laughs> it's better than being furtive about it, Rigsby. No, it isn't. I preferred him when he was being furtive. Do you know he arrived here with an ivory prayer book in one hand and a teddy bear in the other? Look at him now. Fully paid up member of the permissive society. Well, I haven't changed that much. Oh, yes, you have. Before he came here, all you knew about women was what you read in those magazines. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I used to see you hanging around in Smith's. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend that he was looking for practical woodworker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, always turning to the centre pages. He thought all women looked like that, you know. Yes, must have come as a great surprise to you to find they hadn't got staples across their stomachs. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong in having perfection of the female form. Oh, perfection? That's not perfection. That's all rubbish with body makeup and sellotape. tape. You know, that, that's exploitation, that. I couldn't agree more, Ritzby. Yeah, well. In my country, we find that sort of thing degrading. We don't feel sex is something to be sniggered at. We don't read those sort of magazines. Uh, of course, of course you don't. You'd have time to read about it, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Too busy doing it. <laughs> At least they don't have to draw diagrams for us, Rigsby. No one has to tell us where the erogenous zones are. Uh, 
It's the worst. Do you rot in a Sands, Rigsby? Ah. Oh. You don't know where they are. Oh, of course I do. Somewhere near the equator, aren't they? <laughs> Look, the erogenous zones are those parts of the body which are most sensitive to sexual stimuli. Oh, well, those erogenous zones, aren't they? Look, you take the ear. That's an erogenous zone. You blow in Miss Jones's ear and you'll be staggered at the results. <laughs> no, you're not going to talk around it. <laughs> Why are you going to get him down that deal? Why are you going to get this man that out of deal? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, hell, she's going to swat his ass like a fly. Do we believe in Louis? Are you quite sure, Miss Jones? You look a little distraught. Shall I make you a cup of tea? Tea? Oh my God, tea! <laughs> Why do you always think a cup of tea will solve everything? I, I, I can see you're a coffee drinker, Miss Jones. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, just about any time I've ever heard about anything or said anything about needing to pick me up or being down or feeling sick, I always get have a cup of tea. Like, it, it supposedly cures everything. I, I guess it's kind of like uh, my wife's family and soaking in the tub. Apparently, that cures everything. Who knew? But, yeah, I mean, I can't blame the fella for asking. I've uh, been, uh, been watching the television again, have you? It's enough to give anybody good with these. Here's depression moving in from the North Sea, another run on the pound, and Valerie Singleton shopping baskets up again. <laughs> Certainly put the lid on Marjorie Cripps. <laughs> You see, this isn't the first time it's happened. Oh, now I didn't know that, Miss Jones. I don't often talk about it. Oh, it's all right, it doesn't mean. The memory is still quite yes, painful. Yes, quite understand, that's another word, yes. He was plausible too. Oh. So sensitive and charming, until he saw the wedding presents and something seemed to snap. He went, so did the presents. <laughs> the last time I saw him, he was driving down the road in a hired minivan with my father clinging from the roof. <laughs> you do seem rather unfortunate in your choice of men, Miss Jones. Where do I go wrong, Mr. Rigsby? Uh, uh, Perhaps I should be more permissive. Oh. No. <laughs> no, no, you're an example to us all, Mr. Jones. Someone to, uh, someone to look up to. <laughs> you're a tower of strength, Mr. Rigsby. Oh, sorry. As you see, Miss Jones, there's no. Uh, no. Oh, God, yeah. There's no oh, respect my God. Anymore, Come on, see. homie. I just don't know how to, uh, how to treat her. <laughs> she gonna smell that horrible ass breath if you ain't brushing your teeth. I, I just saying. It's a great privilege if you'd, uh, if you'd allow me to uh, help you pick up the pieces. <laughs> Is there a draft in here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, under circumstances, do you think perhaps it'd be a good thing to stay the night? Oh, no, I should soon be asleep. Oh, I can easily bump down on the sofa. <coughs> no, I've taken a sleeping tablet. Oh, well, I hadn't met them then. I mean, they seemed too sophisticated for that. And they were interested. Interested? They were mesmerised. And when we got back to the flat and they said, what should we do? And you suggested Scrabble. Ha 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 if you go have drinks and uh, chips and won't for won't uh, Geronimo, it might go for Twister instead of Scrabble. Just throwing that out there, cuz. Hi, man. <laughs> hey, did, um, did you have a did you have a good time last night? Oh yeah, very good, very successful. <laughs> Remind me to carve another notch on the bedpost, please. <laughs> another. My God, you student. Well, personally, I think you're disgusting. I, I, I don't know how you can be so depraved. Oh, it isn't easy. It takes a lot of practice. <laughs> you take last night, for example. It was all a question of technique. Technique? Yeah. Well, look, you can compare a woman to a finely tuned... Bro, this... Lord have mercy. He gonna get caught by one dude and he gonna spend the last to the other. Of course, that's how it worked. That's how it worked. Then I whispered a few French phrases in her ear. A few, a few French phrases? Yeah, I always get some going. What do you mean? I don't know. What, uh, what happened then? What happened then? Well, Rigby first, so like, ah, cool. ah, let me yeah, get advice. Then, after a while, I started getting nowhere effect. from this cat. See? She started polishing don't her glasses in an agitated manner. She began to shake like an aspen leaf. It's more like Walter Pigeon. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about being married, Rigby. I mean, marriage is an outmoded custom, isn't it? Uh, we live in a modern society. Yeah, especially It's a question of personal freedom. Yeah. So, what, 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 what was it? You said f f f French, few French phrases. Um, Mokotu Scott, Mokotu Fum 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 Fum
Have you seen Ruth? Yeah. How did you see him? Not very happy. She's wearing her blue glasses. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do about it. No, right. You've got to be cruel. Absolutely. You know, this could be your big chance, Alan. What? <laughs> oh, no. You're not getting me involved. Alan, Ruth's a wonderful woman. Is she? A wonderful woman, and she's lonely. Oh, well, she's so wonderful. Why is she lonely? Because you don't appreciate her. You mean you don't appreciate her? I'm not good enough for her. You've never said that before. I think you need each other. This could be your big chance. I'll After take all, away then. He's a great believer in charity, always prepared to help a worthy cause. To all the politics at play in here. And there's no one Rick's more deprived than you, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. After all, you've got something special, Alan. What's that? Your innocence. Oh, well, I'll hang on to it for a moment. If you have <laughs> Alan, you can't carry on like this. Keep up your cork. Why don't you go to her? Oh, trying to hit. I love how they're trying to take a hand stuff off to each other. Just it, between the banter and the, and, the, and the talks and the the play with Miss Jones between Rigsby and oh my god, dude, all of them. Just ugh, that poor woman, bro. She is out like a light. Oh, come on now. What are you about to do? <laughs> you have to wake her up, cuz. Like, what the fuck? Miss <laughs> Jones. Mr. Rigsby, what are you doing here at this time of night? I had to see you, Miss Jones. <laughs> 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 the morning. I've waited too long already, Miss Jones. Time is running out for me. I don't understand, Mr. Rigsby. This is my September song, Miss Jones. You're not going to sing, Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> not at this time of night. Miss Jones, I've been meaning to tell you this for a very long time. I find you a very attractive, desirable woman. Oh, Mr. Rigsby, surely this isn't the time. Yes, of course, I've always known there was someone else. But now he's given you a elbow, it's just you and me. He could never... What's that? <laughs> he, could, he could never appreciate you the way I do, Miss Jones. You're like a finely tuned upright. I beg your pardon? You need a, you need a very light touch. Do I, Mr. Rigby? What would people think? Bro. Oh, only swacky mally ponce, Miss Jones. <laughs> You must know how I feel. I've always admired you. I don't know what to say, Mr. Rigsby. Responde, si vous plaît. Mr. Rigsby. Fuck, dear. Hey, mon. Oh, Mr. Rigsby. <laughs> He's not letting him fucking French nonsense the whole god. Oh, my God. And the thing is, she probably understands what the fuck he's saying, and that's probably one of the reasons why she's so caught off guard. Like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> but Alan over there trying to. Get that fucking Corey like god damn it Bro Oh my god the situations in this show Jones why should we live alone? Say so you'll come down to the ground floor. <laughs> oh dear it is again <laughs> Please let me get my breath, Mr. Yeah. Rigsby. This is so unexpected. Don't think it's not appreciated. You paid me the finest compliment a man can pay a woman. A proposal of marriage. <laughs> <laughs> what? You are not moving in. to marry you. Um, uh, <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> what do you mean, not exactly? Well, well there, 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 there does happen to be a slight drawback where marriage is concerned. I do happen to be married already. Mr. Rigsby, and I thought you were different. You come up here with talk of finely tuned uprights, and all the time you're planning a, an adulterous liaison with me. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. But, 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 Miss Jones, marriage is an outmoded concept. We live in the permissive society, Miss Not Jones. in this room, we don't. But you don't understand. You see? Miss <laughs> 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 Jones, there's someone in your world. Did you the man in there, or didn't you know? Perhaps you'd like to see him. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs>
Where ah! do you think you're going? Well, it's going to go out. Going to go out? You can't go out. The sun's up. You should still be rested in your coffin, you bloody vampire. <laughs> 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 I'm moving the furniture. Anybody's feelings. What, 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 you, you mean there's never been any coloured lights? No sea crashing up against the rocks? No, never, never, never. But you're, you're, you're a member of the Permissive Society. You're supposed to know where the erogenous regions are. <laughs> but I know where the Himalayas are, but I've never been up them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i know where the himalayas are but i've never been up them oh my god <laughs> bro oh shit <laughs> Bro, he over here trying to be like, no, I ain't, I don't know, I don't know shit about shit. He talking about the androg androgynous <laughs> fucking regions that I know what the, bro, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that was unexpected as hell. I love that though, just that simple, like, man, just cause I know where it's at, that mean I've been there, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dude. Oh my God, I love this show. Why Why the fuck did I take so long to get the fucking season two? Why in the hell did I wait so long to start season two? I love this show. This shit right here is one of the perfect reasons why. This is just fucking... This first episode has been hysterical. Oh my God, they started it off with a bang, that's for sure. I can't wait to see you, mon chéri. Your body is like a highly tuned piano. What music we will make together. Meet me tonight by the hedge. Do not fail me, as I am burning with desire. Au revoir, mon petit. P.S. Make sure old misery got his out of the way. It's just a sample. Misery goes very good. I suppose you think that is funny. I would have expected more concern from his father. Uh, you both got that same depraved expression. I've only got to look at you to see where he gets it from. You're one of these people responsible for all this permissiveness, aren't you? You know, I realise that Sandra has had a very narrow escape. Fancy having you for a father-in-law. Just a minute, I'm not his father. And he's quite right, you shouldn't have read his letter. You, you, you people are all the same. You go rabbiting on about the permissive society. Have you seen it? No, no, it doesn't exist. It's all in the mind. It doesn't exist. I should know. I've looked for it. Oh. Uh, so, so don't it's no good you coming in here telling us how, how things have altered because they haven't. So you take your nasty little thoughts and get out of it. Go on. That was very good, Briggs. Yeah. And the two other fellas get me out. <laughs> 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 Sandra's brothers. <laughs> They're coming up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is a hilarious beginning to series two. Oh my god, dude. This is just... Oh, why did I wait so long to watch the second episode of this? Oh, I love this show. Absolutely love it. And this is... The writing of the season two, in the first episode of season two, is a little bit more snappy. Is a little bit more. I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to stop it at any point to take and actually make any commentary on what I'm seeing or make any like give any of my normal commentary. Just because it was so well done, I love this. Absolutely love it. Um, and and y'all have told me in the comments before. Hey, look, it gets better as you go. And well, that's definitely as good as the first season one. That was better. And it was definitely more hilarious. <laughs> I don't know how lay his arm, but I haven't been there. Oh, I haven't been up him. Bro, that shit. Oh, God, that's still... That's hilarious. I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I know I did. Oh, my God, this was a hoot. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.